not that much harder because you have buffer, full buffer, but it can be difficult. Ooh, oh, Dolphin Tilde? Is... Oh, this is one of my favorites. Take a look. I love Tilde's Falco. I haven't seen too much Falco lately, but I know it's been popping up a little bit ever since the... Uh, I don't remember when they buffed him, but I know it's been a bit bad, so... So this is an interesting case. They both Falco and Falcon actually got buffed within the same patch. Uh, and when I'm talking about buffs, I'm talking about like life changing buffs for these characters. Falco got more consistent hits through the up smash, uh, much better side B. Uh, whereas Falcon, his entire side B got uh, revamped. So it's going to be interesting to see how the buffs play out in this matchup. Um, right there, when Tilde was close to ledge, kind of looked like a little bit for that up tilt. He could have definitely avoided that, but still even this. So he can definitely still keep up. I think um, what's interesting about this, and you just sort of saw it in the screen right there, is that these characters have really similar game plans, but their execution is a little bit. Like, Falcon, typically, if he can get something like their one as a starter, he gets that as a pop up into a magic mission. So he can do that to me, down there, for it, whatever he wants. And a lot of his off stage stuff you're seeing there is he'll chase you, hit you with a couple like nairs or up tilts, and then put you in a mix up for your life. But Falco, which I think is a little bit of an edge, at least with screen here, is that he has a lot of drag downs. So he's gonna keep pulling Falcon down, and because Falcon's head is that whole uh, he's not gonna get thrown out of the front of those as early as the other characters do. Yes, sir. So he's gonna eat a couple drag downs early on and get you grab, and then that's good for Falcon. But, or yeah. good for Falco, sorry. But, yeah, Falco, Falco. Uh, yeah, I mean, um. Other than that, they're like really similar. They're both like, yeah, I kind of want to box you until I can get a really good hit or a grab, then I'm going to uh, hit you with the. Uh, what, what have they been calling it lately? The cinematic combo? The, uh, <laughs> yeah. Combo, whatever it's like that. Yeah, whatever it's called. But, uh, I'm sorry, I cut you off. You were saying something. You mean like when Falco's going to take you to a movie? <laughs> <laughs> that is well. Actually, I'm kind of surprised. That's oh, that's a really so sick! Problem. You know, I don't know that he did that on reaction. I would like to think he did, but I think even if he didn't, that's a really good call because at that stage, the only thing that would have beat that would roll away, and that's really tempting to not go for because you don't have any space for it. Yeah, if he had tech rolled away, which like most people don't do that because if you tech roll away, you have no space to go for, and you'll probably still get hit anyway. Uh, that would have covered every other option. Missed tag, neutral tag, it probably would have got the roll in, which is the thing that's tempting for most people to do in that situation. Um, then if he had spaced that a bit further, he might have even caught the roll away, but then he might not have gotten the missed tag window, hard to say. Yeah, for sure. And I, I just gotta say, like, the, the drag downs with Falco in particular are super good versus Falcon. Like, you saw, like, right there, like, typically, a lot of Fal uh, Falco players like to do the active hop on platforms. You can typically get dragged down near and then string into other hits. Um, I like that when Tilde noticed the platform was away and the stage base, he became, like, temporarily, like, FD-like. He did a lot of, like, fair drag downs and then he would, like, catch the eye with, like, roar bears. I love to see that innovation because it, it puts Falco in a position where he doesn't always have to rely on platforms. He can do his typical like near drag down and air drag down and still get a good amount of percent. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm also a little bit of a sucker for re grab combos. Like, getting yeah. thunder loops kind of suck. But also seeing like Falco take your abs across the stage or a Falcon. Like Falcon hitting you with say a bear fastball land into a grab, ab down thrown to mix back into a re grab. That's not kind of fun to watch do it. And both of these characters do that honestly. Yeah, for certain, for certain. Right now they're keeping it even. Wall jump. Nice. Wall jump is good. Currently, it's part of the mix when he's got a very reactable up to start up. Fucking man. <laughs> Too fucking. Uh, does he have a jump? No, no he, he caught it. <laughs> he, he caught it brilliantly. Yeah, that was good. Chasing down jumps, especially, uh... He, oh, he I don't know if he was doing it there, but it looked like he was trying to DI in so he could attempt the wall pack. I don't think he got it, but... It like he was going for it. So 
What's funny is that these two actually kind of have pretty similar ranges, looking at them duking it out now. Falco's got a little bit more of, like, shoving his hitbox into his attack, but they both have really similar, like, stuff up the one ranges. Yeah, definitely. And especially when, like, they're calling each other, it just looks very similar. It's just, I would say the main difference is Falcon is kind of like, I'm gonna keep you in the air, whereas Falco is like, I'm gonna keep you grounded, put you back up, keep you grounded, put you back up. Kind of like a pillar type of combo game in a way, with the drag yeah. downs. It's funny, too, because Falco on the ground isn't like, like, he's got decent ground moves, but they're not spectacular. He wants to get you in the air and then take you back to the ground. Kind of watch. So it's stuff like that. So shout out to Smash 4 and then he couldn't check his coming knockdown. Although he didn't get uh tech look in that case anyway. Yeah, those were certainly the days. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah, at this point Tilde should just go for like down tilt or something. Yeah. That's uh that Falcon uh I almost wanted to call it down there, but that's not what it was. That Stalin fall there was like shades of legit dive kick. Like I'm surprised it killed. Uh, that's a really good option to make the landing time. I love that wall jump. He was able to get like perfect spacing because he wanted to stay close to the wall, preventing sort of mix up. Oh! That looks pretty good. I haven't seen that before. Yeah, that, was, that was the, uh, that's like the active pop combo. So what he likes to do is he likes to uh, active pop onto platforms to, to get the drag down air. And after drag down air, he goes for like the raw bear. So right here, active pop, drag down air, and then... So yeah, at this point he just roars his area. I didn't notice when he had jumped that he had turned around, so I was surprised by that bear coming out, but that was really good. He's very, very fast at it. Mm -hmm. And, and it, it's... it's Wait, go ahead. Yeah, uh, it's just it's just so fascinating because you wouldn't expect something like that, like being able to just turn around, instant double jump, and then continue the combo. Like you would think at that point they can just air dodge, but no, it's like the perfect amount of hit stun, and it just works out beautifully. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, that right there, that uh, stall and fall with the down B. The thing is, is like that's super risky, and in that situation, it got him the stock, so the risk was worth it. But usually, that's like a terrible idea. <laughs> you get too oh, for it. Yeah, I, I, I would not advise Falcons to just randomly Falcon kick. Like, even if it's a cool move, it's like, yeah, it's a little bit too laggy. Even if it is a burst option, it's it's fairly laggy. I'm kind of surprised we're going back to Dallas, honestly. I mean, until they made it pretty obvious that he's using the wall jump a lot to make up the cover, it kind of seemed like it's helping him out a lot. I wonder if he tried to the jab block there or not, because it seemed like the jab free came out pretty fast, like he didn't even want to bother going for the lock timing. Mm -hmm. and, and on the subject of stages, I think it mainly has to do with the fact that a lot of uh, Falco's uh, kill moves are very, very vertical, like he has a very vertical like, toolkit, and mm -hmm. so things like down tilt, up smash, up air, they're not going to kill as easily, whereas Falcon can kind of rely on like back airs and knee. Just stuff like that, and so I think in terms of like the kill percentage range, until he has to be more cautious of that on the stage. Um, that said though, he hasn't had much of a problem just because of the platform extension, so he's really good at doing that. Yeah, the platform extensions don't really benefit one character much more than the other, I think, on this one. Like, don't get me wrong, again, Falcon likes to take you off stage when he can get the chance either landing a uh, screen air hit or getting a grab into a down throw going for a mix up after he hits you. Uh, he likes that off stage and he can take advantage of platforms to extend stuff like that, but I mean, as we tell with Toby, how he pulled that last time, he's perfectly capable of doing that with Falco too. He has the face, but he missed the timing damage. <laughs> he was close, he was close. Like the patience too, where he's like, yeah, I know you're going to wear a gun, because he's been over here already, so I can't fuck the gear, like, I'm gonna miss him early. That was good, I think he had some help this time. I love his gear versus lasers, they're just so beautiful, especially when he wall jumps, like, I'm not sure if you noticed this, uh, <laughs> game one. He just, he just spammed a bunch of, like, or sorry, game, game two, game two. He spammed a bunch of wall jump lasers, and... He nearly recovered. 
Uh, well, I mean, there's worse options to go for. As far as being on the ledge, being... I don't want to say, like, a character lane. Like, one Falco away from the ledge and having a hitbox coming at you that stops whatever you're doing is really good. Because that's kind of an awkward angle for people to punish at, at least it's the wrong way. Like, Falco is Falcon to punish that would have to be like, oh, I'm gonna short hop off the ledge down here, which is a little bit of a hard commitment to go for something against like a laser. So it's it's there's a risk to it, but you have to do a lot of commitment to come at it. Like not too damaging if you get hit by it, it just sort of kills whatever you're at dark source to the ledge is gonna be. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, that was a little bit of a risky wall jump. I think he just stood up he should have just relied on either not so, but probably ledge get up or something like that. Just another see, option. The thing is, that is, what he did there is that he let go of the ledge, right? Uh, and then the thought process is that if he re-grabbed the ledge, then he's going to be hit by whatever his punishment is. So he covered the jump with that back air, and then he still had time to land and probably go for something like a down tilt if he continued to hang on to the ledge. Uh, so that was... I don't know if it was a read so much, but it was definitely good option coverage or something else, but it also might have been a good call out on him like, oh, I don't want to go the way because that's going to punish me. Yeah, definitely. I think, I don't know, it's, 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 Kalos is one of those stages where you don't necessarily even need to go to the ledge to go for wall jumps. Like, typically, mm. they, they'll have, like, slants, like, you'll see stages with a lot of slants, and you kind of have to jump towards the wall. You don't really need to do that on Kalos, um, so I feel like at that moment, he should have just wall jumped, uh, maintain safety at ledge, like have that invincibility on deck, so that way you wouldn't have to worry about Tilde covering it, because at that rate, Tilde could probably just do like back air, and if he doesn't jump into it, then you can just down smash at ledge, or even down tilt. Mm -hmm. Probably should have done a better way. 